pixels.coo Welcome to you and welcome to this seventh explainer in the series Beginning AI with WordPress and AI Engine. In the previous explainer we noted the limitations of using a content aware bot that can see the contents of a single web page. In this explainer we'll introduce embeddings which avoid this limitation and provide a starting point for creating a truly tailored help bot. We'll create our embeddings directly inside the AI Engine plugin, but they'll need to be stored in a specialist vector database. We're going to use Pinecone. Head to this site and create a free account now if you haven't already. To create embeddings, we're going to need to consider exactly what our visitors are going to have questions about. For example, I expect people interested in attending Arcade Fest to ask when it's on, what the opening hours are, and how much will the tickets cost. Equally, they might like to know if a specific game will be available to play or if an individual company is attending. Let's get started with creating embeddings. First, in AI Engine, go to the Dashboard tab and check Embeddings is switched on. Remember, this is only available in the paid pro version of the plugin. First, we need to connect the AI Engine plugin to our Pinecone account. Log into your Pinecone account and go to the API Keys section. Click on the Create API Key button. Give your key a name, I'll use one that relates to the website. Make a note of the environment here as you'll need it shortly, then click to copy your personal API key. Back in AI Engine, go to the Settings tab, paste your API key in the Pinecone section where indicated and select the server to match the environment shown in your Pinecone account. These must be correct for a successful connection. Now Pinecone is connected to AI Engine, we can create a Pinecone index. Click on the Settings tab and click Add Index. This is basically the database we'll enter the Arcade Fest embedding information into. Give your index a name, I'll go with EventBot3 and leave the index type as P2 as suggested and click Add Index. This process can take up to a couple of minutes. There's a refresh button here. OK, the index is ready, we can create our first embedding. Click the Add button here. The dialog box gives a useful explanation of what an embedding is, noting it can be as short as a single sentence or as long as an entire article. I'll give my first embedding a sensible title. This is just for my own reference later. I'll start by detailing the basic information about Arcade Fest, including dates and times of the event and ticket prices. That's plenty of basic info for the first embedding. Click the Add button to save it. I'll create a second embedding using the same process, this time detailing information about some of the companies attending Arcade Fest. That's enough for this second embedding just to get started with. We can now run simple tests to see how embeddings work. Switch here from Edit Mode to AI Search Mode. I can enter test questions here. Let's start with a question that has nothing to do with the event. What kind of dog is Snoopy? Pinecone looks through our embeddings and gives each one a score based on how relevant it appears to be in relation to the question. It's returned scores in the 60s for each embedding. Note these duplicated embeddings should not be showing on this screen. Each embedding should only be listed once. This appears to be an issue with the current build of AI Engine at the time of recording, and you can safely ignore it. Notice these defaults in the Settings tab on the right. Up to two embeddings with a minimum score of 75 will be used to help build an answer. In this case, neither embedding has reached this score, so they're not considered relevant to answering the question, what kind of dog is Snoopy? This time, let's ask a relevant question. Which companies are attending the event? As you can see, this time both the embeddings meet the criteria to be used in forming an answer. 
You can already see how the process of creating and testing embeddings is going to take time as you adjust their wording and amend the thresholds based on your ongoing testing. In a moment, we'll create a chatbot that uses our embeddings index. But first, take a moment and look at the sync tab here at the bottom right. If you have lots of existing posts or pages on your WordPress site and would like to turn them into embeddings, a simple click here on Sync All will do it for you, including using the Turbo AI model to reword your content and make it more embedding friendly. But this is a huge potential time saver if your pages already include the information you'll need for your embeddings. OK, let's create a new chatbot then, just like before, but this time we'll ask it to use our embeddings index. In the AI settings section of the bot, be sure to select the embeddings index where indicated. I've added the bot to my homepage in the usual way. Let's check the embeddings are used as we expect them to be. So when is the event on? That's a good start. And next, who's exhibiting at the events? There you go. With just two embeddings, we have the start of a personalized event-specific chatbot. A final tip, you can check which embeddings have been used for each user query on the Discussions tab. If you don't see this tab, you'll need to switch it on from the Settings tab here. In this way, you can track user queries and whether appropriate embeddings were selected for use. A final point, we mentioned the temperature field here earlier in this series. When using embeddings, it's unlikely you'll want your bot to get too creative. So set a low temperature of perhaps 0.1 or 0.2. For help on the temperature setting, see the OpenAI website here. I'll continue to build embeddings for the Arcade Fest event bot. This is the final video explainer in this series. For the final part of the series, we'll overview the remaining features of AI Engine on the website. We wish you well with your journey into generative AI. To finish, here's part of a quote from the developer of AI Engine. It's a good point to remember. Pixels.cool